Welcome back to Geology Watch. For the past several years, the ground beneath Naples, Italy has been swelling and cracking. The region, known as Campi Flegre, is an active supervolcano. It has been in a state of unrest for decades, but the activity is accelerating. The ground has risen one point, one meters nearly four feet, since 2005. Thousands of small earthquakes are now shaking the region every month, forcing the government to review evacuation plans for the more than 500 zero people who live directly on top of the caldera. For years, a critical debate has divided scientists. Is this unrest being driven by fresh magma pushing its way to the surface? Or is it just superheated gas and fluids being released from a deeper, stable body of magma, causing the ground to swell like a blister? Now, a new, alarming study has provided an answer, and it reveals a threat that no one was fully prepared for. The problem isn't just the pressure from below. The problem is that the volcano's roof is breaking. If you find these geological updates critical for understanding our world, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to Geology Watch. The phenomenon driving this crisis is called bradyseism. It's a geological term for the slow, cyclical, rising and falling of the ground. This process is the volcano's heartbeat, and it has defined this region for millennia. Residents of the coastal city of Pozzuoli, located in the direct center of the caldera, have lived with this for generations. They watched the ground sink during Roman times, famously submerging the ancient marketplace, the Temple of Serapis, only to rise again centuries later, leaving the temple's columns scarred by marine mollusks, a visible record of the moving earth. To understand the stakes, we must look at the volcano's history. The Campi Flegre caldera itself was formed by the Campanian Ignimbrite eruption approximately 40 zero years ago. This was not an eruption. It was a global cataclysm. It was one of the largest super eruptions in European history, ejecting hundreds of cubic kilometers of molten rock and ash. This event plunged a vast portion of the continent into a volcanic winter, blocking sunlight for years. The eruption was so massive that some scientific theories link it to the final decline and extinction of the Neanderthals, whose populations, already stressed by a changing climate, may have been pushed over the edge by this sudden, devastating environmental shift. That is the sheer power sleeping beneath Naples today. The volcano's last eruption, however, provides a more recent and terrifying precedent. After centuries of lying dormant and sinking, the ground began to swell dramatically in the 1530s. Eyewitnesses wrote of the sea retreating from the shoreline, earthquakes becoming a daily torment, and the ground drawing itself up. Then, on September 29th, 1538, the ground split open. Eyewitness accounts describe a fissure opening with fire, stones, and mud that erupted with such violence, it built an entirely new volcano, Monte Nuovo, or New Mountain, in just 48 hours. That eruption, which lasted only a week, was the last time Campi Flegre breached the surface. Until now, the volcano has been in a long period of quiet. That quiet was broken by the most terrifying modern event, which occurred between 1982 and 1984. In that crisis, the ground swelled by almost six feet triggering thousands of quakes and forcing the complete evacuation of 40 zero people from Pozzuoli. Then, just as an eruption seemed imminent, the process stopped. The crisis ended and the ground began to slowly sink again. But since 2005, the ground has been rising once more. And this time, it's different. This brings us to the scientific debate. The unrest is undeniable, but the cause has been a mystery. One theory, the gas-driven hypothesis, suggests that a massive, stable magma chamber, eight kilometers down, is releasing enormous quantities of kodu and other gases. These gases rise and get trapped in a shallower hydrothermal system, a layer of rock saturated with superheated boiling water three kilometers deep. As more gas is fed in, this shallow system swells like a pressurized blister, causing the ground to lift and crack, but without magma ever threatening to erupt. The other theory is far more dangerous. That fresh molten magma itself is rising from the deep chamber, 
and intruding into the shallow crust, actively trying to find a pathway to the surface. Now, a new study led by scientists from University College London and Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology has revealed the hidden consequence of these repeated stress cycles. The answer may be that the debate no longer matters. Using a model of rock fracturing, scientists analyzed the pattern of the recent earthquake swarms. What they found is that the crust itself, the cap rock sealing the volcano, has changed. After being stretched and restretched by the 1980s crisis and the new uplift since 2005, the rock has lost its elasticity. It is no longer just bending under the strain. It is breaking. Like a piece of metal being bent back and forth, the caldera's crust has suffered from cumulative damage. According to Professor Christopher Kilburn, the lead author of the study, the volcano's tensile strength, its ability to be stretched without fracturing, is now only one-third of what it was in 1984. This is a profound and terrifying discovery. The thousands of small earthquakes residents feel are not just symptoms of pressure. They are the sounds of the volcano's containment structure, its cap cracking and failing. This scientific breakthrough is more than just an academic update. It completely reframes the risk for geoscientists, it marks a step change in their forecasting. Previously, they were looking for a massive buildup of pressure, greater than what was seen in 1984, to signal a new eruption. But the new data proves this is no longer necessary. Because the crust is now so weak, the volcano could rupture even with stresses that are smaller than those seen during the last crisis. The physical barrier holding back the disaster is failing. This means that all the rules have changed. The unrest since the 1950s has been cumulative. The volcano is now in an inelastic state. It has been weakened to the point where any new movement, whether from gas or a small batch of magma, could be enough to tear a new pathway to the surface. This also opens the door to another, more immediate danger, a phreatic or steam-driven eruption. This is an explosion that occurs when the pressurized hydrothermal system that layer of boiling water and steam, is suddenly uncapped. This can happen if the weakened crust above it simply fails, leading to a violent explosion of steam, boiling mud, and shattered rock with absolutely no magmatic warning at all. Now, we must look at the human stakes. This isn't a remote mountain. This is a supervolcano hidden under a metropolitan area of three million people. The official red zone the area that would be instantly destroyed by pyrostatic flows, is home to over 500 zero people. This includes large parts of Naples itself, as well as the towns of Pozzuoli, Bacoli, and others. Surrounding this is the yellow zone, home to another 800 zero people who would be threatened by catastrophic ashfall. An eruption here would not be a slow-moving lava flow. The magma beneath Campi Flegre is gas-rich and explosive. A large-scale eruption would be catastrophic, generating massive, fast-moving clouds of hot ash and gas that would incinerate everything in their path. The resulting ash cloud would darken the skies over Italy and could severely disrupt air travel and agriculture across all of Europe. The Italian government has a detailed evacuation plan, one designed to move half a million people in 72 hours. But this plan relies on a clear warning. It is a logistical nightmare requiring the coordination of buses, trains, and ships, all while the ground is shaking in an ancient city with narrow roads known for gridlock traffic. This new study suggests the warning signs for the next eruption may be much weaker and far more sudden than anyone was prepared for. This makes Campi Flegre one of the most dangerous and closely watched volcanoes on Earth. The question is no longer just how much pressure is building up from below. The new critical question is whether the volcano's own cap, broken and scarred by decades of unrest, is strong enough to hold that pressure at all. The ground is swelling and the crust is cracking. The world is now watching to see what happens next. If this analysis gave you a new perspective on our planet's hidden forces, please like this video and subscribe to Geology Watch. Join us as we continue to explore the incredible forces shaping the only world we call home.